Looking sharp, bud. Thanks so much for coming back to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, we had Kate McKinnon out here just now. And, yeah, and I was like, well, maybe, I don't know if they know each other. We like to see if our guests know each other. We have quite a history. You certainly do. This is a picture of you. You met at the Independent Spirit Awards. Is that correct? This is our first time meeting. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and this is a picture of, this is a picture of Kate coming by you. This is during her monologue, maybe, or something? Or some... Yeah. That's a, that's a mouthful of ham. She has, Just remember that. She for, has, she has ham next... in her mouth. She has ham in her mouth. And then, uh, and then this happened. Yeah. Wow. Mm, yeah, the reason she's not out here is that night uh, we promised each other we would never see each other again because we knew, <laughs> we knew we would destroy each other's lives. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So, wow, that's, that's getting to know someone right there, Paul. I miss the simpler days when you could just kiss a stranger with a mouthful of ham. Thank you. <laughs> not the yeah. first time I heard that. Yeah, you're yeah. right, yeah. It hasn't flown the past couple of years. Uh, yeah. Uh, pal, I saw the Batman the other night, uh, and you are fantastic. Thank you. In this, yeah, yeah, as yeah. the Riddler, uh, the reviews are great, by the way. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Great yeah, reviews. Thanks. I knew you were going to nail it, but how, how did this come about? Did you, did you kind of petition for this, or they wanted you? Uh, no, I actually didn't know much about it, and I got a weekend phone call, which is always sort of good or bad news, you know, the weekend phone call from work, and I was actually backing out of a uh, driveway with my wife next to me and my dad in the back seat, and... The call came up on Bluetooth. It was my agent. And I was like, I'm not going to get this. It's the weekend. And Zoe was like, pick up the phone. Yeah. Picked up the phone. And he's like, you know, Matt Reeves wants to talk to you and about playing the Riddler. And it looks, you know, and I, and I was like, and when I hear good news, I kind of just shut down. I was like, okay, 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 okay. So I hung up the phone. And so he's like, oh, my God, what happened? Like, what's wrong? You know, and I was like, I, th I, think, I'm, I think they want me to play the Riddler. And she started freaking out, and I was freaking out. Yeah. My dad's in the back seat, and he's like, "What's so exciting up there?" You know, blah blah. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to tell him because it wasn't totally in the bag yet. But also, my dad has me on like Google Alert. He calls his friends about stuff. He's like, so, <laughs> and I didn't want him to be like the leak, you know, like the the before uh, yeah, before it was all good. In. So you had to lie to your dad. I had to lie to my dad, but we we had this two-hour car ride where the whole time Zoe and I are going like, oh, you know, we're. Like, <laughs> And my dad's like, what's going on? And then I knew when we got back to, to my parents' house we were visiting, he was trying to figure it out online, and he, could, and he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. And then, like, yeah. a week later, I could tell him, but yeah. Uh, well, here's a picture of you as, as the Riddler, and this is... Look at how frightening this is. Yeah. yeah. Now, when did you find out you weren't going to be a Riddler that wore, like, uh, like an outfit with question marks on it? Well, uh, m m my agent who's backstage just reminded me that the first thing I said to him after I read the script was, there ain't any green spandex in this one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah no, no. Is, this is dark. Uh, yeah, no, the first time I read the script, I mean, Matt Reeves, it is a completely singular vision he's got for this thing. I was totally blown away by the script, which, frankly, I wasn't expecting to be, given that it's a superhero film, there's so many of them. I felt so lucky, like, this, I get to do this one because I thought it was so good, and it's, a, it's an interesting take on the character. Yeah, it's dark. Did you, get to, did you get to bring any of your own ideas to this? Yeah, sure. Was so, it a mask your thing? Yeah, so, so okay, so you know, there's kind of like a vigilante thing here, right? And maybe my character doesn't quite have the same resources as, say, another vigilante. And yes. so it's kind of more of a, a homegrown costume, and uh, uh, I wanted, take, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I wanted like, he still needs to be able to go out in the day, a la Bruce Wayne, right? So I couldn't shave all the hair off my body for like DNA. I wanted the details covered. He's super meticulous, and so I had this idea of like wrapping myself in. I have to call it cling wrap because yeah. I think the Saran people don't want uh, any any legal association yeah. with uh, my Riddler. Um, I wrapped myself in cling wrap, which kind of looks scary, yep. you know, with the light. And I thought, okay, th now I'm not going to shed any hairs here on these crime scenes. And, and then the first day of filming, about an hour in, I just start to see white and colors, and my brain is, get, things are getting very tight. And it's day one, so you don't want to be the actor who's like, complaining. I, yeah, I've got a little headache here, or a little problem. You yeah, know, you kind of sweating. Suck I mean, can it you up. see through? You, know, you can't sweat. That's the issue. It's like it's like it's like going back inside of you. So I it's like so clingy. It's so it's so sealed. So I made it through day one without telling anybody that I was like. And I got home that night, and I'm probably googling brain swelling in my bed, and I'm like, okay, is this a problem? And and then you know, or I was like, is this the character? Oh my god, this is gonna be a long shoot, you know? And yeah, exactly um, right. Yeah. And then the next day, we just started to poke some holes in the cling wrap. 
My head could breathe, things got a little better. <laughs> and I, I might as well take this opportunity to offer a disclaimer to any Halloween costumers or cosplay fans out there. Maybe skip the cling wrap. Yeah, yeah. So you don't need to do the cling wrap to be your your Riddler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, it, it, it's amazing uh, the, your transformation and how you do this guy because he's he's creepy, man, and it's scary and it's frightening. And I go, oh, this is how he's playing this. And I go, this is a dark Batman. But the idea is that it's oh, Batman's only second year being the Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the cops don't really know if they can trust him. The public doesn't know if they can trust and. And but so and it also kind of turns morality on its head. So yeah, it's like a pff, immersive action spectacle. That's also a serial killer, mystery, psychological thriller, horror film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to go see it on the biggest screen you can. It is. I think it's. I I really like it. It's beautifully shot and it's so well done. But and this is uh, this is the scene I, I I really wanted to show because it's great. This is just Paul Dano at his best, showing you how to do it, man. I love it. Here's Paul Dano in The Batman. Take a look at this. Please! Hands up! He said put your hands up, you son of a... Everybody, the Batman is in theaters and IMAX this Friday. Hey.